In this unit, we're going to look at unit line conversions. Given that 0 0.4536 kilograms is equal to one pound, convert 450 pounds to kilograms. We always take what we're given and write it as a fraction over one. In this case, we're given 450 pounds to convert, so we write it over one as a fraction. We then write the conversion factor as a multiplied fraction so that the units cancel. We write 0 0.4536 kilograms over one pound. Now we know that this is correct because the units of pounds and pounds cancel out. So the pounds cancels, the pounds cancels, and what we're left with is kilograms. That's the unit we want in our answer. That's the unit that is left after cancellation. So we then multiply out what we have left and we see that in the step shown on the right. We have 450 times .4536 and we have the one remaining unit of just kilograms in the numerator. In the denominator all we have left is one times one because the pounds canceled out. We multiply 450 times .4536 and we get 204.12 and we also have the kilogram units. The one, pi, one times one in the denominator is just one and 204.12 kilograms over one is just 204.12 kilograms. In this next example, we're given that one mile equals 5,280 feet and one hour equals 60 minutes and one minute equals 60 seconds and we're going to use that to convert 800 feet per second to miles per hour. Again, we start with the 800 feet over one second. Now notice there's units in both the top and the bottom. It's 800 feet for each one second. So we have to put both units in here. Now we're going to want to multiply by conversion factors so that the feet units cancel out and the seconds units cancel out and we're left with miles in the numerator and hours in the denominator. Our, our first unit factor to can or, uh, multiply by is one mile per 5,280 feet. That will cancel the feet units. We then multiply by 60 seconds per one minute. The seconds will cancel with the seconds in the denominator of our given quantity and we also multiply by 60 minutes over one hour. And here is our cancellation. We have feet canceling with feet here. We have seconds here canceling with this seconds unit. We also have this minute unit canceling with this minute unit. The units we're left with are miles in the numerator, hours in the denominator. All the other units have canceled out. Now we multiply the units that we have left, or the numbers that we have left. We have the 800 times 1 times 60 times 60 and miles left in the numerator. We have the 1 times 5,280 times one times one hours in the denominator. We multiply those numbers out. We get 2880000 miles in the numerator. We get 5,280 hours in the denominator. We divide out 2,880,000 by 5,280 and the result is 545.45. The units left are miles per hour and I just abbreviated MPH.